user information protection and defender advanced threat protection. So one of the biggest complaints, concerns, I'm not sure what the right word is, but you know, imagine if someone is in Singapore and they call and they tell you, I left my um, laptop in a taxi cab. And the first question that IT asks, is there any sensitive information on there? And what does the end user say? I have no idea, right? So what we do here is we're actually integrating the desktop itself with Defender ATP and Azure Information Protection so that you can actually look at, this is that new view that we saw of the device, right? And we can see, or actually, hang on, I think I've got a better slide here to show that. So this is like we talk about, John don't downloads a sensitive file from SharePoint. Windows now knows the file label is confidential. So AIP talks to Windows Information Protection, right? Protects the file. And then, right, John reports that his machine is missing. And so the compliance officer is going to find out if there's any data on there. So again, we have that uh, Microsoft Information Protection toggle switch. And we can choose which labels we're concerned with. Mm -hmm.